yeah that happened <laughs> all right so a couple of days ago i was trying to edit a vlog or i was editing a vlog and then yeah i end up spilling a whole full glass of kool-aid on my laptop possibly the brownest thing i've done all year um but yeah so i was looking and searching all over the internet for things to help with the moisture on the keypad everything i ran into they were saying immerse the whole entire laptop in rice i don't have a bucket that big nor did i have that much rice so i just put it on the keys and i let it sit they say you're supposed to let it sit for 48 hours i actually let it sit for a total of 66 hours because once i got home yesterday i had to deal with my son and other things like that so it sat a little longer, so hopefully you guys can see. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rice and attempt to turn the computer back on, which I pray everything is going, is working, cause like I just do not have the extra funds to buy a laptop right now. But yeah, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm just gonna remove the rice. I'm just gonna dump it in a bag. I have here or attempt to dump it in a bag. It's going everywhere. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I just did it. It look it's looking really funkular right now. Like okay. Maybe I should get a napkin. Let me see. I'm really, really, really praying that this worked and it absorbed all the moisture. <sighs> all right, let me say the next step is to connect your power cord to the back and attempt to turn it on to test. So I've just connected it. Well, I mean, my uh, there is a blinking orange light here. Okay, we have something going on here. They said this is a test to see that your cycle is working. And this is without the battery. My battery is not in yet. The battery is still here. So I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to let this run without the battery. I guess I should once it goes through its uh, loading thing, then we'll put the battery in. Okay, so it does turn on. So, let me see here. I guess I'll turn it off now and put the battery in the back. On the thing that I looked at online, it didn't say. Okay. I'm now going to put the battery back in. is now back in the laptop. I am now going to connect the cord back. And turn on. We are getting that orange light. Okay, screen is on. Hi guys. Yeah, it's early morning, early. <laughs> so if you see the reflection, it's cause it's early morning. Yeah, next time I decide to do editing late night, I will have like practically I should, I'll put it in one of these, <laughs> my son's sippy cup so I won't knock anything over. Jeez.
I don't know, man. We're, we got a, a funny looking screen here. Oh. I don't know, guys. Uh oh, purple. Oh, please wait. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I haven't seen that in three days. Initially, when I dropped the Kool-Aid on the computer, it still was working. Um, and I immediately turned it upside down and set a cloth in between here. <gasps> Ooh, guys! Uh-oh, wrong password. Hold up, hold up. Oh, yes. Okay, it's on. It's back on. Now, from what I've read online, they say you're supposed to let your computer run for about an hour or so um, and then back up all your files. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Back up all of my files. So just in case it does go, does have a permanent failure, at least I'll have a backup of my items. Um, but I'm excited and I pray that it just keeps on working and I don't have to buy another laptop because nobody has time for that right now. Okay, um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and back up all my files and then, you know, keep my computer on for an hour, like they said, about an hour, hour or more. Uh, but yeah, I hope this helps anyone out there because <laughs> I know when I did this, I didn't think to put the rice on right away. It was actually 30 minutes later, I thought to put the rice on. So I hope this helps someone out there. Uh, bye. Real quick, guys, this is where I actually got the information from to fix my laptop. I got it from WikiHow. All right, so step one, turn your laptop off immediately by holding down the power button. Step two, if your computer is connected to an AC adapter, make sure the surrounding areas is dry. Subsequently, subsequently, blah, 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 I can't say that today. Disconnect the power cord from the outlet. Step three, pull out the battery. Step four, tilt the laptop at an angle to discharge liquid from reaching deeper parts of the laptop. Okay. Step five, dry the computer, computer with a wet paper towel in all the reachable wet areas. Step six, um, two methods can be used to dry the computer's eternal parts. One method is to immerse the computer in dry, uncooked rice and seal the container in a plastic or seal the container or in a plastic bag. Another method is to top place, which I believe that's what I did. I just placed the rice on top of the laptop. So uh, top place the computer in a dry location. The moisture should leave the computer. Step seven, wait 48 hours. It does seem like a long time, but you know, it's the best way to do it to ensure that everything gets dry. Like I told you guys earlier, I waited 66 hours cause I was busy. Step eight, carefully reconnect the power cord to the laptop without the battery. Step nine, test to see if your computer turns on and is operational. Step 10, if your computer is operational, immediately back up all important files. And step 11, if your computer is still not functioning, seek professional help. I hope this helps, guys. Bye.